Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? So it is Sunday, and that means once again, I need to look myself in this virtual mirror and tell you about my week. Uh, as you will see, and you have seen for the last number of years, I share with you what's going on in my life. Uh, I have weekly goals that I track and share them with you. I do this for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, I believe goals are important. I've been you know, I've had goals, weekly, monthly, quarterly goals for as long as I can remember. But it's not the act of having goals. It's the act of breaking them down, then creating metrics for individual things, and then tracking performance. You're going to see ups and downs every week, but that is why it's important. And I challenge you to think about your business, your life, your goals. This is very, 2020 has been no joke. Uh, it is very easy to just have the couch give you a big hug, watch too much TV, watch too much negative stuff. So let's shake it off. Let's move forward. Uh, what I would sum up this week is kind of plodding along. Uh, we are on the cusp of a couple of vanity metrics. What I mean by that is we're, we're about 300 or so subscribers short of the magic 10,000 mark on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching this and you want to be a part of the first 10,000, go ahead and hit subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Not only do I do my goals every week with you, we do daily financial news, expert series, walkthroughs of our project. And again, I'm a real estate guy. I am not going to morph into some stock guy or you know insurance salesman or, or whatever. Uh, I've already already you know done it, and and now I'm focused on giving back. The other vanity metric we're really close to is 5,000 Instagram followers. Uh, you know, we put out content every day on that platform. And yeah, almost 5,000. I think we're 30 folks show, short of 5,000. So hopefully by next week, we'll be at the Instagram target and maybe take a couple of weeks to, to get to 10,000 on YouTube. Uh, most importantly, uh, giving back is working. Uh, I am trying to reach down and pull people up. What that means for me is the book, One Rental at a Time, is still selling lots of copies a week and creating belief and confidence. But most importantly, this daily communication with you on YouTube is working. Uh, people are signing up for my free course or the paid course. Uh, the difference is the free course is about two and a half hours of material, just kind of who I am, why One Rental at a Time works. There should be a link below to my courses you can take a look at. But most importantly, the paid course is starting to take off. It's everything I do in my market. It's stuff I still do today. Uh, I have added to it without raising the price because that's just the right thing to do. Uh, so you can become a part of my Facebook group uh, just for students. And we do 30 minutes mentoring every Saturday where I answer any and all questions. Uh, it's just my way of giving back at scale because I'm not going to, sacrifice hours doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring. It's not, um, it's not something I want to do. So with that said, let's bring up my week because uh, that's what I have to do. Here we go. So again, as you can see, we track, I, I track everything in weekly chunks. I change it up every 13 weeks. You can go back on these playlists and you can see I have December 1st to February 29th, March 1st through May 31st, just on and on and on. So Again, a lot of stuff there. Uh, for me, it all starts with health. Can't let that get away from me. Um, so I am working out. I'm having a lot of fun taking on some challenging workouts. Uh, fasting is a big deal. If you can go back and watch my December 1st through Fe February 29th series. Uh, I tried fasting for the first time, and boy, was it powerful. Uh, as for growing the brand, right, one rental at a time and really having an impact out there, uh, we saw a peak in YouTube views this week, uh, just over 17,150, just over. Uh, so we beat the past record by uh, 17 views. Hey, when you beat it, you beat it. So that was good. Uh, we've definitely been trailing off on podcast listens, uh, but that doesn't matter because uh, we still exceeded 12,000. Uh, we, we had a huge spike week one, week two, uh, and then we've been down ever since. We'll see where that goes. Uh, as for subscribers uh, on YouTube, we had our slowest week yet, uh, only 116. So 
I know I don't ask for it. This is definitely my issue. I'm not, I mean, I, you know, as you'll see below almost 30 videos this week, I probably asked for subscribers in four of them. So this is, this is my, my mistake, my, uh, my thing I can choose to improve. As for uh, Instagram subscribers, again, we're looking to uh, get to 5,000 here shortly. Uh, hopefully we'll get there this week. Uh, but we only added, uh, what is that, 29? Uh, so definitely missed uh, new uh, Instagram subscribers. As for the business, uh, getting a little more consistent. We're coming out of this. We, we, haven't, we haven't landed anything yet, but we are kicking around deals. Wrote a couple of offers out of the MLS. Uh, we did a couple of, you know, we looked at a couple of deals that the hub put together from various wholesalers there. So that's good. Uh, we are kicking off a marketing campaign. Uh, I, I put together a marketing campaign going after frustrated landlords. Uh, you know, we're going to target folks uh, with, that are frustrated and see if anybody wants to sell or finance or sell for cash. Uh, again, that should hopefully start in the next week or so, but uh, I got a $1,200 budget for that. Uh, so that will be good. Nothing to increase cash flow, although we have five properties in escrow. Um, you know, so we'll see where those go. I certainly expect uh, three or four of them to close. One of them we'll see. Uh, the buyer was supposed to inspect Friday, but didn't come through. So never know if they're getting shaky, uh, getting scared or whatnot. Uh, not, still not doing anything. We barely ever leave the house. Uh, I got to get out of here. It's driving me crazy, especially with the fall and winter coming. Man, I got to do something. Uh, no unique events. This is really starting to bother me. I got to find something for Olivia and I to do. And then it's for the story of one rental at a time. Uh, we only did 25 videos this week, so we were short on my goal of four a day. Uh, the daily financial news series, which I'm very proud of, uh, had a peak of 664. Again, that's the show I do at 730 every day live uh, for you. Uh, we had a peak video this week of 1321, uh, so we missed both our goals. Uh, I was a guest on two podcasts this week. A lot of fun. Thank you for the Amazon reviews. Uh, we had seven in the last week. We're shooting for five. Uh, if you've uh, got the book One Rental at a Time and you've uh, enjoyed it, please do me a favor and leave a five-star review on Amazon or Audible. You know, I, I don't ask for much, but that would be greatly helpful. Uh, as for Audible, uh, we had four Audible reviews as well, almost five. Uh, we just missed. Uh, but that was, um, you know, that was something. And then as far as new students, again, I'm not tracking sales or anything. It's just new students. So if you want to be a part of the fun, you can go, you go sign up for my free course. Uh, I think it's called One Rental at a Time Works. Uh, that will uh, get you about two and a half hours of material from Teachable. Uh, and then if you're ready to do some work, uh, how to get started one rental at a time is the best thing I've done gets you access to me every Saturday for your questions. It's the closest I'll be doing to mentoring. Uh, but yeah, and then haven't uh, sold any hats in a couple weeks. I like them. Purple, one at a time. Sort of the logo from the book. Uh, but, you know, we're doing what we can do. Uh, and then didn't give anything to charities. We usually do that at the end of the period. We basically use proceeds from the book and whatnot to, to do a donation. Uh, so we'll see where those go. So at the end of the day, that was my week. How was yours? Are you tracking? Are you sharing what's going on? Uh, if you're in a rut and not moving forward and you want to feel like you're taking action, uh, I do suggest my course, How to Get Started One Rental at a Time. It's going to smack you in the face. The step one, phase one, whatever you want to call it, is work. Uh, the good news is it's about 20 minutes a day once you get once you get going. And again, sign up for my private Facebook group and uh, you know we can do some mentoring questions on Saturday at nine o'clock Pacific. I wish you all the best. It is Sunday, have fun, uh, have a great week and take care. <laughs>